Let's get the call on the fifth. All right, all set to run now. Off in the last event of the day, Brayley Ladd and Cloud of Dust and Mystic Spirit were out the back shortly after the break. Bow Budget, the first to come out. Century Cloud and Young David began quickly with Young David going to the lead from Bow Budget and Century Cloud. Final Fever's gone up fourth on the outside, then Cloud of Dust and Arctic Bay followed by Averzing. Brayley Ladd drifting back, so a station sunset followed by a long way back in the field came Chavan Lady and last of all Mystic Spirit. On the first corner, 8.50 out, Young David a half to bow budget final fever racing third Ava Zing going up wide on the outside and Century Cloud with a nice run on the fence then Cloud of Dust Arctic Bay further back Brayley Lad Station Sunset a long way back coming to the turn Chavan Lady out very deep and last of all is Mystic Spirit on the bend for home and young David and bow budget come round the corner together final fever third Ava Zing on the outside Century Cloud waiting for the run near the fence and further back is Arctic Bay but bow budget took off at the 400 raced away from Chavan Lady. Here's Ava Zing moving up on the outside from Final Fever and Station Sunset winding up from a fair way back. Bow Budget in front of the 200. Tackled by Ava Zing on the outside. Century Cloud running into third spot. It's Bow Budget and Ava Zing having a great struggle. Bow Budget and Ava Zing are coming to the line. Ava Zing, Bow Budget, they hit the line. Ava Zing. Ava Zing's nosed out Bow Budget right on the line. Third I'm not sure about. Either uh, Mystic Spirit or Chavan Lady, followed by Station Sunset, and then Century Cloud, Young David, followed by Arctic Bay, Final Fever, Cloud of Dust, and last time in the race, Brayley Lad. So a good old finish here in the uh, fifth from Aussie this afternoon, 10-5, and then the camera between 19 and 11, number 10, Ava Zing, Jay Flanders has uh, done enough, I think, to beat number five, uh, Bo Budget. And uh, screaming at them down the outside was uh, number 19, uh, Mystic Spirit, and also number 11, Charvan Lady. I think that was uh, there as well. But they're calling the camera all around here to separate first and second, and also third and fourth in race number five. Oh, absolutely nothing in this, is it? 10 and 5, and then we go back to 19 and 11. We'll pass the post there. We'll have a short break and uh, see what they can come up with uh, with the photo finish. Come racing at Alexandra Park this Friday for the Auckland Trotting Club's Queen's Birthday Meeting. The feature event is the $15,000... Call me Karina, number 5975 to 835. Olympic bid, 1360 to 1115. And Bally Marine, 430 to 405. Not a lot of movement there. Extra bubbly, 2215 and $18.65. Michelle Saver, she's on extra bubbly after her horse won so impressively at uh, counties yesterday. Good on you, Michelle. Uh, the best bet uh, is uh, number one, Bally Marine, the class galloper of the field, is the favourite too. The trackside test is number four, Keita Girl. Ton of speed and uh, the barrier draw to a sister, Keita Girl, in the last. And uh, Ragged Ann, uh, also a chance at uh, reasonable odds. And that is for six. Now, Qantas Australian Racing Service. We can cross the Tasman for the final time today to Wyong for the Wyong Rugby League Joanne Series, a $20,000 event, raced over 1,200 metres. Let's join our caller. Stands up nicely, Olympic bid ready. Lights are turned on as Bally Marine comes up. Blue mantle set, Ragged Andrew on a wide gate is in. They're all in here. Last spy set, drawn out wide. $20,000 race. The Wyong heat of the Joanne series. They're off and racing now. Beginning fast out wide on the track was Blue Mantle. Last by away quickly, showing speed Olympic bid. Bally Marine is going to settle just off the heels of the leaders. Last by crossing over with Blue Mantle. Bally Marine runs to third inside Olympic bid. Keita Girl the rail between runners. Call me Karina. A length and a half away in the field, Kathy Jade, followed by Acapulco Queen. Very wide, Ragged and second last, extra bubbly and last in the all black Comede. 700 out. Last by a half in front of Blue Mantle. Length away third, Call Me Karina inside Bally Marine. Out wider on the course is Olympic Bid. Two lengths away, Ragged Ann being stoked up and struggling a little bit. Extra bubbly on the inside of it, goes past it. On the rails was Keita Girl. Will back coming up to the turn came Acapulco Queen. Second last and last of all is Comede and Kathy Jade under the 
the whip midfield and wide past the 400 at its last by joined by Blue Mantle Olympic bid comes out three wide then Bally Marine call me Karina's under pressure to stay in touch then extra bubbly and off the track Kathy Jade Blue Mantle in front at the 200 Bally Marine can't reach it for the moment down the outside running on pretty well Olympic bid Acapulco Queen checking off heels still Blue Mantle Bally Marine's grabbing her Bally Marine goes to Blue Mantle flying on the outside extra bubbly Bally Marine Bally Marine three quarters second Blue Mantle and third extra bubbly close up on the rails and good runs from Comed call me Karina Acapulco Queen may be the hard luck story of the race followed by Olympic bib then came Ragged Ann well back pulling up last spy from Keita Girl and it was back with Kathy Jade who just couldn't go with them on the home turn well, our trackside tips as if uh, tipped it out to number one. Bally Marine has uh, done the job and done it nicely too. From number two, Blue Mantle. And uh, number 10, Extra Bubbly. Looks as though it's got a bit of place money for us in the final event from Aussie this afternoon. But uh, going away at the business was uh, Bally Marine to score from Blue Mantle. And yes, it is number 10 uh, running home well for third. And that is Extra Bubbly. One, two and ten, your numbers in race number six the Wyong uh, Rugby League Joanne Series uh, stakes. $20,000 here. We'll have those divvies uh, for you as soon as they are official. We can take a look at the 10th divvies here at Manukau. Movements, uh, power stride, 1065 and at 190. Random chance, 475, 130. That's gone out a little. Three drag away, 1635 and 275. Fidey, 630 and 260. Believe in me, 1240 and 3. Number six knocks me over 205 and 150. Billy Snuff 1515 and 245 and Sir Brook 1175 and $3.35. The reserves are out nine and ten. Just uh, waiting on that uh, Aussie result for the uh, final event from across the Tasman this afternoon. And here it is Bally Marine 335 and $1.90, two Blue Mantle $1.70, and 10 extra Bubbly $5.05. The Quinella one with two, $6.75. Trifecta one, two, and 10, $424.90. And that was the second of the double, five with one Bow Budget and Bally Marine $7.60 and uh, bow budget and blue mantle six dollars and thirty cents this is a couple of doubles with the dead heaters wasn't there Ava Zing and blue uh, belly marine Ava Zing and belly marine 10 with 13185 and Ava Zing and blue mantle 10 with two twenty four dollars and seventy cents that wraps up our Australian racing and our Qantas Australian racing service just waiting on this market for the final event here at uh, Manukau. And uh, we'll just run through that uh, a moment or two ago. I thought we might have had the wind movers there, but uh, Power Stride, 11, 15, 175. Uh, Favourite is uh, Knocks Me Over, number six. And that's around about the $2 mark. Ben Craig, we spoke to him earlier in the day. He's got the three in the, in the race. Power Stride, Random Chance, and uh, Believe in Me. Random Chance, the best backed at 520, 140. Drag away 1765, 275 at 6 and 250. Believe in me, 1250 and 3. Knocks me over 195 and 160. It's uh, coming a little more now, hasn't it? Uh, Billy Snuff 1650 and 235. And it's uh, Brooke at 1205 and $3.35. Greyhound's just heading out now for the final event. And uh, bringing them down is a uh, Power Stride on a <coughs> Ukanuba Greyhound Racing Service. Power Stride from Random Chance, a drag away. Phi D in the blue, believe in me, the gold knocks me over in the brown rug. That's the favourite, knocks me over. Billy Snuff, the black, and Sir Brooke in the pink rug. Ben Craik are doing the work with the Power Stride. Takes them out. Random Chance there in the check rug. Wife uh, Barbara Craik. In the white, a drag away. For the blue, uh, Phi D from the Night Kennels. Believe in me, the other Craig uh, runner. Knocks me over as the favourite in the brown with uh, Adrian Charters. Wants to knock over Terry Knight. Seven, uh, Billy Snuff. And at number eight is Sir Brooke. So the field goes out for the final event here at uh, Manukau. Have a look at the uh, previous run of Knocks Me Over. 
racing. Uh, Bionic Star got away fairly smoky. Havoc's the one that's going to burst to the lead, though, from Knocks Me Over. Show speed and bolts to the leader. So let's go back. Knocks Me Over to the leader. Over Blue Teenager down on the inside and followed through on the inside by Smoky Havoc. Sadie Lil starts to make ground. Bionic Star right round the outside of them. Gazza's Glider. They're followed back by Marge Legacy. Tarlander is Tungsten Notice. Across the top they come and it's Blue Teenager on the inside and Knocks Me Over. They run to the judge. Knocks Me Over. Blue Teenager knocks me over. They had it. Knocks me over. Ahead over Blue Teenager. Mar March Legacy's rattled home for third. They're followed on the inside of that by Bionic Stars. He floats a little bit, doesn't he, at the business? Uh...